it's clearly a sewing machine. Although my projects are for toys, I'm sure you can figure it out and make some use out of them for yourself. And the toys I have, the thing is that I, I want to make some bags to contain them because they haven't got anything. The first one is this one. It's a, a box with two games. It's three puzzles on one side and a memory game, one of these car games. But the box is ridiculous because look at the size of the box and look at the size of the memory game, for example. So. Uh, it's not working, he can't really reach it or see it, so I want to make some uh, bags for the puzzles and for the memory game, as well as another one for this. This is so fun because I used to have this as a child as well. I have them in this box, the box is fine, but the thing is that it's a bit big and I could use this box for other stuff. So I want to make uh, another bag for this so he can also take it to his abuela's house or somewhere else because sometimes he likes taking it to play there. So I think it'll be good. And I'm going to be making the three of them with plastic. I've made projects with plastic before and I have little bits around that I need to use. Why plastic? Because he'll be able to see what he has and that's much more better. If you know what you have, you'll be willing to use it. As The same as an adult, if you don't know what you have and everything is in a wardrobe, really organized but out of sight, you won't see it and you won't use it. So same theory. And of course I have bias tape to hem all these projects which are going to be different, that's important. It's not the same bag for every project, even though you can do that, but I have different ideas uh, for each project that I think are going to work really well. So if you like this kind of video, consider subscribing if you're learning to sew like me or if you just like watching this kind of video, if they look interesting to you. just consider subscribing, we have fun, we make interesting stuff. I'm going to start by cutting the puzzles box because I want the little picture, the model, to be with the puzzle and I thought it would bring, it had a bigger one but no, this is what it has. So this is what I'm going to cut. I suppose I can make a photocopy and make it larger as well. But no, mommy. What are you doing? So my idea for the puzzle one is to make out of a whole piece of plastic, fold it to make like two pockets in one of which will be the model of the puzzle and in the other one the puzzle. And when folded you can easily uh, put it away and carry it somewhere and it won't fall because uh, the opening is on the top and it won't need any closure, none of these projects will have any closure. My pieces of plastic measure roughly 20 centimeters wide by 58, 59 long. It will depend on the size of your puzzle. So now what I'm going to do first is to hem the two uh, sides, the little bits, uh, with bias tape. And to do so you don't need to really hem it nicely on the corners because there's more bias tape that's going to go on top, so you won't see it. I have my machine threaded in the same color as the bias tape I'm going to use, a sort of turquoise. And uh, one tip to sew plastic is to use your plastic foot. And another one, if you see that your plastic is sticking to the base of the machine, is to use some paper to avoid sew.
With this hand, I'm now going to fold inwards so I can create my pockets by hemming all around these new edges. And to keep them in place, I'm going to use some of these. Uh, they are from, uh, not from haberdasheries, but from uh, to stationery shops. So uh, I should get the other ones, but even pegs will work. So because this is plastic and you can't really hem it, the corners need to be nicely done. So to hem the corners, I'm going to cut a triangular shape with my bias step open. So then when I close it and fold it, it won't stick around anywhere and I think it'll be nicer. And with that, they are finished. These are my little puzzle carrier bags. I think they are really good. They are easy enough for a child to reach and it's good because you can keep the picture of the puzzle on the other side. It's a pity mine is so small because it would be nicer if you made them the size, like a bigger size of the picture and it will uh, fill all this gap. But anyways, I think it's quite comfortable if you have an appointment and you know your child is going to get bored you can stick this in your handbag they are not heavy they don't uh, take any room in your handbag so they are quite good to go The next one is the memory game, which again needs a bag and I want to have a bag to take it places. So I'm going to cut a rectangle of material but with a rounded top, sort of an arc thing. I'm going to start by hemming the bottom with bias tape. Then I'm going to fold it, taking in account how much room the cards take and so the sides. And I'm going to add some bias tape previously sewn so it doesn't open and this is what it's going to hold the flap by sewing it on the sides. And then to finish it I'm going to sew all around it with some more bias tape. And this is the result. I think it's quite useful, it's nice because he can see it clearly and it's nice as well to carry it around. And lastly, the bag for these blocks, which I want to make a bag, but I want it to be able to stand as well so it's not flat on the floor. So I'm going to cut a rectangle of material that I'm going to sew on one side and this circle bit is going to have a base. And for the base you can cut a circle or a rectangle, but I'm going to cut a drop shape. First I'm going to sew the side and add some bias tape. I'm doubting if I should add this bit of bias tape in the beginning or at the end but we'll see, I'm going to add it now. And then I'm going to sew the bottom bit, the base, being really careful, sewing really slowly, and then add some bias tape as well. Thank you. 
So now after making sure that it stands, it stands nicely, so now I'm going to decide which height I wanted it to be. Maybe I should leave it bigger and taller because maybe in the future he has more of this, I'm not sure. So by now I'm going to cut a bit and uh, sew some bias tape on top. So much bias tape! And to close it, I'm going to use this Velcro, which has which has a tape underneath, so it sticks. I don't know how strong it will be, but let's see, if it weren't strong enough, I can still sew it, so it's not a problem. Let's see how it works. Ah, good. So these have been the project for today. I think everything looks really good. I'm quite happy with it with them. I don't know which one is my favorite. I love the design of the puzzle with the two sides. I think it's really comfy. The cards uh, case looks really good as well. As well as this one, I think this one is really good because he can also grab it easily. It's not heavy and it's comfy to carry around. So let me know down in the comments if you don't have any toys around the house, what will you use this for? And don't forget to comment and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot. And that way you don't miss anything because I'm, I'm uploading. <laughs> can't talk. I'm uploading twice a week. So I'll see you around. Oh, and I leave you a link here with all the little projects with scraps we've made so you can get some ideas to give us presents or even to sell. Bye! And to create my pocket, and with this hem and and with this hem and with this hem I'm now going with this hem I'm now